Welcome to my yoga. I'm Nicole. Today we have your yin yoga practice where our focus will be on our hips. We'll get into some deep stretches with longer holds and we'll work to loosen up the connective tissue in the hips and lower back. Go grab your mat and let's practice. To begin our practice in child's pose. Bringing the knees wider than your hips, big toes to touch. Letting your hips sink back towards your heels and then just slowly releasing the upper body down. Feel free to take a little rock from side to side just to allow yourself to settle. Then when you're ready, you can relax your arms and release the forehead to the earth. Just beginning now to slowly connect with the breath. Start to feel your inhales expanding the back of your body. With your exhales, your body softening and releasing into the earth. And slowly building each breath. Feeling the inhales as they move deeper and deeper into your lungs. And begin to gently draw your navel in towards the spine as you exhale. Just using that motion to release every last drop of air. Begin to fill up and empty out completely with the breath. Feel your entire rib cage expanding as you inhale. And as you exhale, let the body release and soften even more. Using every breath in to invite space. Every breath out to soften, to release tension. It's feeling your energy starting to calm and center. Taking three more deep breaths here. And fill up completely with your inhale. Empty out completely with your exhale. And as you breathe in very slowly, starting to rise up. With your exhale, we're going to move the feet out of the way and bring your bottom down onto the earth. We're going to bring the legs around, soles of the feet together, outer edges come onto the mat. We're going to have the legs in a diamond shape. Take a moment to move the fleshy bits of your bottom out of the way. Take a big breath and lengthen the spine, lift your heart up, and then as you exhale, just beginning to round and fold forward. Just going to rest the arms in any position that's comfortable, releasing any holding or clenching in the hands, fingers. And just relaxing the shoulders back. And starting to invite softness into the legs with each exhale. And using your inhales to open and expand through the lower back. And the exhales to surrender and soften. And as your head gets heavier and heavier, begin to feel the vertebrae in the neck lengthening out. The shoulders are gently drawing away from your ears. If you would like to move a little bit deeper, Feel free to bind your arms, taking the hands, sliding them underneath the calves, and just resting the hands on the tops of the feet. Use every exhale to soften. Not worrying about the breaths to come or those that have passed. 
and following each part of every inhale, each part of every exhale. Relax your jaw. Notice if there's any clenching in the hands, letting that go as well. And if you'd like to move even deeper here, you can gently scooch the bottom back just a couple of inches. And then exhale, softening. Remember that it doesn't matter how deep you're going in any of these poses. Focus on the connection with your breath. Just breathing into this moment. Breathing into you. Taking five more deep breaths. As you exhale, just releasing the bind in your arms. And then breathing in slowly, starting to roll up the spine, bringing the head up last. As you exhale, gently draw your knees together. And inhale to straighten out the legs. We're just giving them a little bit of a shake here just to let that go. Tend your fingertips beside your hips. Strengthen the legs. Take a deep breath in, lifting your heart up. And as you exhale, we're going to bend our knees, transitioning onto all fours. We're going to make our way into lizard pose, taking right foot to the outside of right hand. Knee stacks on top of ankle and it's in line with that right shoulder. Tent your fingertips or use blocks if you need to. Take a deep breath in, lengthen the spine, lift your heart up. Feel your shoulders sliding back and down. That right foot is rooting into the floor. Right knee gently pulling in towards right shoulder. If you'd like to, making your way down onto the palms of the hands. Your option to lower down even further if you wish to. Wherever you are, pull the shoulders back. Find length as you breathe in. Let your hips just start to soften down as you breathe out. Just taking your time if you wish to move deeper, perhaps lowering down onto left forearm and then onto right. And we're just going to take five more breaths here. Big full inhales. Slow, calm exhales. The last two breaths. Now breathe in now. Slowly start to make your way back up if you've lowered. As you exhale, releasing this side. Take a breath in, find your center. And shoulders back. And we're gonna inhale, left foot to the outside of left hand. So right knee comes behind the hip to open up that hip flexor. Stack left knee on left ankle. Foot is pressing down, facing forward, and it's gently hugging into your left shoulder. 
Get really tall here, perhaps coming up onto the fingertips as you lengthen the spine, pulling shoulders back. And if you're moving deeper, doing so on an exhale. Just listen to your body, there's no need to rush. So let the shoulders draw back and down. Release any tension from your jaw. If you are coming onto your forearms, lower through right side and then through left. And gently hugging left knee into left shoulder, allowing the hips to sink down. Five more deep breaths. And find length as you inhale, shoulders back. Surrender with your exhale. Last breath here. Inhale, begin to transition yourself back up onto your hands, taking your time. And with an exhale, releasing the side back to tabletop. Take a breath in here. And with this exhale, moving the feet out of the way and coming back into a seated position. We're going to start with the feet hip distance apart, parallel to each other, coming into our shoelace pose. We're going to reach underneath our right knee. Grab left ankle, pull it through. So you're working to keep that knee in line with your heart. Taking the opposite leg, one hand on the shin, one hand on the thigh, and then we're going to work to stack the knees right on top of each other. Now, if this is not available to you, the foot might be up here, and that's okay. You can always support it with a cushion or block if you need to. If you're able to get the knees stacked and you still need more, feel free to walk your ankles out in line with your knees. Even the weight out into your hips. Take a deep breath in, lengthen your spine, lift your heart up. And then, those of you that would like more, begin to bring yourself forward. The shoulders are gently pulling back, jaws relaxed and released. Every exhale, give yourself permission to let go. Perhaps moving a little bit deeper here. There's no tension in your jaw or shoulders, no clenching or holding in the fingers. And see if you can soften now through the hip flexors. Inviting calm into body and mind with each exhale. With your next inhale, very slowly lengthen, start to make your way back up. As you exhale, hands behind you, we're going to bring the knees up, squeezing the legs together, uncross and release. Take a deep breath and back to your starting position, lift your heart up. As you exhale, we're going to reach underneath that left knee, grabbing right ankle and pulling it through. Working to get that knee in line with your heart if that's available. Opposite hand on the shin and the thigh, not forcing anything, stacking the knees if you can, otherwise, Having the leg rest, ankle strong, foot supported. Even out your sit bones onto the mat. Take a deep breath and lengthen the spine, lift your heart up. And then at any time, if you wish to move deeper, slowly starting to make your way forward. Use your breath. 
With every exhale, let go. Let go of any tension in your shoulders or jaw. Let go of any expectations or judgments. Just be here in this moment fully and completely. Feel the weight evening out into your hip, sit bones. And see if you can bring some softness into the hip flexors. Big full inhale. Slow, calm exhales. Slowly, on an inhale, begin to make your way back up. As you exhale, hand behind you, draw the knees up. Uncross your legs and release. We're going to straighten the legs out. Just give them a little bit of a shake here to let it go. And extend it through the soles of the feet. Toes pull back, tent your fingertips. Take a deep breath and lift your heart up. And as you exhale, transitioning back into our tabletop. We're going to take this into pigeon. So bring the knees back just a little bit from your hips, shoulders over wrists. We're going to take that right knee. Slide it to hit the back of your right wrist and then scooch this foot in as much as is available. Square your hips. That left leg slides back if you have the space to. Top of the foot is down, look back, make sure leg and ankle are straight. Take a breath and lift your heart up. Feel the shoulders sliding back and down the hips squaring. And when you're ready, if you wish to, keeping that length in the spine, starting to walk your hands forward. Releasing yourself into sitting pigeon. Back leg or top of that foot is gently pressing into the earth, shoulders pulling back. Remember, you can always support that right hip with a cushion or a block if this feels like it's too much. Use your breath. Be present with whatever it is is coming up for you. Inhale, these are your new beginning. A chance to expand and open. Exhale is an opportunity to soften and let go. Let your head be heavy. Belly's flowing with the breath. With your next inhale, begin to rise up. Take your time. Hands coming underneath the shoulders as you exhale. We're going to bring that left knee in a couple of inches. Release your right leg. Just straightening it out to let that go. And then the knee coming down onto the earth. Knees are behind the hips. Breathe in, lengthen the spine, shoulders over wrists. As you exhale, left knee to left wrist. Scooch that foot in as much as is comfortable. You can always support this hip with a cushion or a block. Take your right leg, slide it back. Top of the foot gently presses into the floor. Make sure your leg and ankle are straight. 
Breathe in, come up onto the fingertips, square your hips, lift your heart up. And if you wish to lower, take your time walking yourself forward, releasing down when you're ready. Notice that the body wants to naturally soften and release as you exhale. Visualize the breath drawing into that left hip, wrapping around the muscles, grabbing a hold of any tightness or tension, and feeling that all being released with the breath. Relax your shoulders and your jaw. Stay present with each and every breath. With your next inhale, slowly rising up. Bring hands under shoulders as you exhale. The right knee's gonna come in a couple of inches. We're gonna release that left leg, straighten it out behind you. And then knee to the earth with your exhale. Let's take a breath in here. And then as you breathe out, moving the feet out of the way and bringing your bottom back down onto the mat. We're going to come back into the position, soles of the feet together, outer edges on the mat. You're going to scoot your bottom in close to your heels, and then very slowly start to transition yourself down onto the mat. So we're moving into Supta Baddha Konasana. Take a moment, shimmy the shoulders underneath you. And then as you exhale, turn the palms of your hands to face up, relax the back of your body. The neck is long, there's a little tuck to the chin. Breathing deeply. Allow your inhales to expand and open up the entire front body, including the lower belly and hip flexors. As you exhale, feel the legs releasing, knees getting heavier and heavier. Stay connected to and present with each inhale, with each exhale. Release all of the tension in the muscles in your face. Let go of any resistance in the groin, in your thighs, or hip flexors. Just let your body slowly open with each breath. With your next exhale now, gently drawing the knees together. Bring the knees into the chest as you breathe out. Knees come onto the hands. As you inhale, separate the legs. Relax your feet and ankles. With your exhale, gentle rock side to side. Come back to center as you breathe in. 
Draw the inner thighs together. Inhale here. As you exhale, keep the head down, just squeeze and compress the thighs into your belly. Relax the back body. Inhale. Exhale to release the soles of your feet to the floor, stepping the feet wider than the hips, knees come in to touch each other. Rest one or both hands over the center of your heart. Thanking yourself for your time and energy. For this opportunity to look deep within. To release tightness and tension. Namaste.